Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. Today we're going to learn how to create a buy two get one for 50% off discount in WooCommerce using the discount tools plugin. Alright. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. As usual, let's go to WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, we'll be able to find more discount rules. Now clicking on add new rule button enables you to create a fresh rule. We will have to enter a suitable title now for this discount rule, before which I'm going to try and explain the scenario that we're trying to accomplish. All right. We're going to offer every second item added to the cart for a 50% off. All right. So let me enter a title to buy every second item for a 50% off. Okay, and this discount is going to be a recursive discount, which I will explain in the further part of the video. Nice. Now let's select a suitable discount type by clicking on this drop down and the discount type that is suitable for this scenario is going to be buy x get y. Let's also choose the products that are eligible for this discount type. I'm going to leave it to all products because I want customers to pick any product and then still qualify for this discount. All right. With that, let's move on to the get y discount type. Click on this drop down and select buy x get y all since I do not want to restrict it to any product. I want to give customers the liberty to buy any product and still qualify for the discount. After you select buy x get y all, we will also have to define the minimum quantity, free quantity, discount type, etc. Before which, let me explain the different modes of application that you see here. So you can decide whether the discount 50% off, which falls on the second item, to be applied on the cheapest item or the highest item. Highest meaning the expensive item. I want this discount 50% off to apply to every second item and that second item must be a cheapest one. Okay, and that's why I have selected mode of application to be cheapest. Let's now define the minimum quantity, free quantity and the discount type. Minimum quantity is the least product or quantity that customers need to buy. I'm going to set this to 2 because I want customers to buy at least 2 products in their cart and qualify for this discount. Okay, we do not have to worry about the maximum quantity because we are going to create a recursive discount today. We're going to make use of this option. So don't worry about this maximum quantity field. Now let's go ahead and select the free quantity. And my free quantity that I choose to give is one. Meaning when customers buy two items, they'll get one of the item for a discount price. That's it. It's also time for us to select the discount type. I'm not going to give the second product for free, but I'm going to give it for 50% off. And hence, I'm going to select this drop down and select percentage discount. Set the value to 50%, meaning every second product will receive a 50% off. Nice. Now, if you do not click on this recursive option, you will be able to see that no matter how many quantities customers buy, but only one of those quantities will receive 50% off to make this discount apply recursively meaning for every sequential range let me explain if customers buy two they'll get one of them for 50% off if customers buy four they'll get two of them for 50% off if customers buy six they're going to get three of them for 50% off okay meaning for every second item if you want the discount to apply for every second item then it's important for us to get the recursive option on nice after we have turned on the recursive option let's go ahead and save and close this particular rule before we test it great we have created the rule successfully all that we have to do is test it to test it i'm going to take you to the storefront we are on the storefront and we will have to now add at least two products to the cart okay let us add this belt and this beanie to the cart now I'm going to take you to the cart page. 
now you will be able to see you can see that since I bought two items one of the item has received a 50% off and you can also notice that comparatively this particular products price is cheapest isn't it you can see that the discount is applied to the second item and the cheapest item as well nice let's see if this discount is applied to every second item let me go ahead and add few more products to my cart okay let's go to the shop page let's add this hoodie with logo and then this cap to our cart all right nice let me take you to the cart page now and you'll be able to see that the next cheapest item is also given a 50% off nice isn't it so you can see that every second item the cheapest item purchased by the customer is given for a 50% off nice isn't it that is how this discount works and thank you so much for watching